everyone's had a great week around campus. And now here's Eamon with school news. Hi DRGN, it's Eamon with your school news. Student recognition, November Students of the Month. We have our Students of the Week. Toy Drive. NJHS is sponsoring a toy drive. If you would like to donate a toy to a child in need, please bring your donation to room D201 Beard by next Wednesday, 12-7. Counselor's Corner. Schedule change request for second semester. CMS counselors will accept elective schedule change requests from second semester, December 6th through 8th. Students can request a schedule change for electives using a Google form. Students will need to access their schedules for second semester through student access. We will accept elective change requests for second semester. Starting at 8 a.m. Tuesday, December 6th until 4 p.m. Thursday, December 8th, in order to be fair to all students. We will not be able to accommodate any requests made via email or in person. The link will be available on the CMS webpage under the counseling tab. Students will be able to view electives offered second semester when the link goes live. Please keep in mind that not every elective is offered for every period, and that we are not able to change a core class in order in order to place an elective list. Thank you, CMS counselors. Back to you, DRGN. Hi, I'm Winnicott Waters with DRGN. I hope everyone has had a great week around campus. And now here's Sydney with Library Happenings. Hey, I'm Sydney and I'm here with Library Happenings. Hi everyone, um, I am just wanted to kind of let y'all know that next week while it's midterms, Monday through Thursday is mostly just going to be a time for you to come in and you can study. We're going to try and keep it quiet, but it should be a good place for you to study for those midterms. And then on Friday, because it's our fandom Friday, we're still going to, and it's our last day before winter break, we are going to celebrate with some um, holiday and probably Disney karaoke. So it won't be so quiet on Friday, but we'll still enjoy and you should be ready for that last exam. Okay, well, back to you, DRGN. And now here's Natalie with School News. Hi guys, it's Natalie Cardenas with your celebrity birthdays. If you have a birthday on December, Monday, December 12th, you share a birthday with Oscar, Grammy, and Golden Globe see actor and singer Frank Sinatra. If you have a birthday on Tuesday, December 13th, you share a birthday with Emmy, Grammy, and Tony, um, act Tony winning actor, Dick Van Dyke. If you have a birthday on Wednesday, December 14th, you should you share a birthday with Grammy winning singer songwriter Tori Kelly. Um, if you have a birthday on Thursday, December 15th, you share a birthday with actress and daughter of Jed Abtow and Leslie Mann, Maude Abtow. If you have a birthday on Friday, December 16th, you share a birthday with Theo James. If you share a birthday on on Sun on Saturday, December 17th, you share a birthday with Emmy and Golden Globe winning actress Sarah Paulson. And if you have a birthday on Sunday, December 18th, you share a birthday with actor and comedian Jason Manzoukas. Back to you, DRGN. And now here's Layla with 7th grade sports coverage. Hi, DRGN. I'm Layla and I'm here with CMS 7th grade sports. Girls, CMS girls, athletic stone paint, basketball versus Wilson. 7th grade got 18, 36 to 24. B team got 26 to 22. And C team got 12 to 13. Cross country, 11, 29 top finish. 7th grade, CMS got 2nd. 1st place was C Casey Dukes at 9 minutes and 39 seconds. 5th place was Victoria Stovall at 10 minutes and 15 seconds. 10th place was Tafa Sharma at 10 minutes and 36 seconds. 13th place was Island Page at 10 minutes and 45 seconds. And 14th place was Everly Good at 10 minutes and 46 seconds. And then boys CMS boys athletic zone page basketball versus Wilson. Seventh grade, 46 to 47, double OT. B team, 47 to 11. C team, 28 to 16. Cross country, 11, 29 top finishers for seventh grade boys. They got first place. First place, Kai Gutierrez eight, at eight minutes, 35 seconds. Third place, Yates Eddins at eight minutes, 45 seconds. Fifth place, Alvin D'Souza at eight minutes, 57 seconds. Ten, 10th place at Venice Madrina at 9 minutes 17 seconds. 20, 20th place at Semyon Kelfaki, 9 minutes and 33 seconds. I'm sorry if I mispronounced any of your names and back to you, DRGN. And now here's Erickson with sports. Hello, everybody. This is Erickson with 8th grade sports. For the basketball versus Wilson, 8th grade, A team, 
for the boys, A team won 15 32, B team won 29 24, and C team won 36 8. For the girls' team, A team won 51 12, B team won 22 21, close game, but we still got the dub. And then C team lost 6 24. For cross country, eighth grade, for the boys cross country in eighth grade, Grant Nor Norgat got first, Tyson Gibson got second, Dimitri Karmas got fifth, Annie Rude Numbakum, sorry, got 15th, and Zach Price got 16th. For eighth grade girls, you had Abigail Perez in third, Rhea Chavez in 13th, Anna Blanchard in 17th, and Quinn Solstrom in 27th. Back to you. What's the hardest kind of tea to swallow? Reality. I don't trust stairs. They're always up to something. Why are koalas pink? I, I don't know what answer you were expecting. But they're not pink. Hi guys, it's Natalie Cardenas with your entertainment news. If you saw on Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live, host Kiki Palmer announced she was pregnant. Um, during her, it, she showed off her baby bump during her monologue in which and and everybody was and everybody was excited for, excited for her pregnancy. She even showed it off in a few of the sketches. Uh, along with her announced pregnancy, um, um, Kel Mitchell, um, Keenan Keenan Thompson's old friend, appeared in a sketch called Keenan and Kelly, in which um, Keenan Keenan Thompson and Kelly um, Kiki Palmer w were in a reboot of Keenan and Kel. And uh, um, and it and it was funny. Um, also that also that evening, um, there was this Hello Kitty sketch, and at the end of the sketch, that's none other than Natasha Leone appeared in a Hello Kitty suit. And yes, it was very funny. So uh, in other words, Saturday Night Live was full of surprise guests and appearances. Back to you, GRGN.